Loblolly also, the off-site fabrication of that enabled us to use our environmental ethic but deeply ingrained it in the house and embed it in a way that we wouldn't have been able to do, to do if we had stick built that construction. There is a high performance wall on the waterfront side or west side of the house that um, was integral to all of the environmental thinking about the house. Again, everything comes back to Le Corbusier. He was one of the first users of air conditioning in the Salvation Army building in Paris. That's an invention that has to be disinvented. Loblolly House is a direct confrontation with that question, how do we disinvent air conditioning? All of the rooms, the four rooms of the house, have one thing in common. They all face the water, and they all have a, what we call a filter wall system on the water side of the house. The walls are glass and they completely fold away, or not. You can infinitely adjust how open the wall is on the inner layer. Then there's a secondary layer that's made up of bifolding airplane hangar doors that are clad with polycarbonate. This is a system that we use for storm protection on the site. If we get high winds um, and tremendous rain, it provides additional storm protection. And it also traps sun when it's fully closed in the cavity in between the outer layer and the inside layer, creating kind of a thermal blanket on the house in the event of a storm or a really bitter cold winter day. The back side of the house has very few windows, only a few. In essence, the house is a mixing chamber for air. There's a, a pressure differential between that volume of air coming into the house and its ability to escape the house in the back. It literally is an environment in which you tune the amount of air moving through the house. You know, that's certainly part of the joy of the house is not turning on equipment, but actually just using um, what nature gives you to uh, make it a really pleasant place to be. It really asks you to pay attention to the external world, to the natural environment.